Hey guys, in this video, I want to share five things that you need to know on how to get customers to buy your product. If you run an online business and you sell products, but you're struggling to get sales right now, you're struggling to get sales and customers, then this video is just for you. Hey, my name is Christabel and on this channel, we do a lot of videos on online business and online marketing. So if you're new to the channel and you're interested in online business or online marketing, then do consider subscribing to the channel. Now, before I share my five tips on how to get customers to buy your product, there are two things that you need to know. These are the two fundamental things when it comes to selling products. The very first thing that you need to know is that a lot of online entrepreneurs waste their time, money, and effort trying to sell their product to people who will never buy from them. You need to realize that not everyone out there is your ideal paying customer and not everyone's gonna buy your product. And this applies to your Facebook ads, to the content that you're creating, to the events that you speak at. You gotta ask yourself, are these people that you're targeting, are they your ideal paying customers? Are they going to eventually buy your product or are you just wasting your time, money and effort? So it's important to realize who are the people who are truly interested in buying your product or who are the people who are just asking about your product because they're just collecting information and they have no intention of buying. And the second thing you got to remember is that you've got to have a great product. Now you can try all five tactics that I'm going to share later on on how to get customers to buy your product. But if you don't have a good product, now, if your product isn't good at all, then it's going to be really, really difficult to sell your product. It is easier to persuade people to buy your stuff when it's of a great quality. And it's also easier to get people to refer your brand when you offer, you know, quality products and a superb service. So now let's jump into the five things you can do to get customers to buy your product. My very first tip is get others to promote you. So get others who already have a community that you're trying to target, who are your ideal paying customers. You partner up with them and you get them to promote you. And you can do this through things like affiliate partnerships, subscription boxes, or insert advertising. And the reason why partnerships are so great is because you're not trying to market towards your existing customer base. Now instead, you have access to someone else's customer base, right? A group of people who are completely new to your product. And when your partners are promoting your product to their audience, and there is this instant trust that is now associated with your product and with your brand. And this is the same reason why subscription boxes and insert advertising work so great for products as well. Because with subscription boxes, because now these subscription boxes companies are now promoting your products without even you lifting a finger. So yeah, you might earn less per product sold directly to your, your customers, but you actually earn more through the quantity of products that you sell through partnering up with you know, subscription boxes. And then a great example of insert advertising that I've seen is when I bought the Logitech camera and in the box, it came with this insert advertising for a software, a video editing software at a discount. Now, I didn't sign up for it, but I'm very sure that a percentage of customers have bought that software just because they saw the insert advertising for that video editing software at a discount in the Logitech box, right? It came with the box. So ask yourself, you know, is there a brand out there? Is there a product out there that you can partner up with so that you can actually insert a leaflet or a promotion in their boxes, right? In their, in their packaging. So for example, if you sell bags, you know, accessories or accessories for women, can you partner up with a women fashion brand and then have a promotional leaflet inserted in their packaging? Now, of course, you might need to pay them to advertise in their packaging. You might need to pay them a cut of every sale sold. However, you know, this is a great way to get your product in front of an audience that you normally would not have access to. Now, the second tip on how to get customers to buy your product is to show that your product is better, is more effective, better quality than your competitors and you want to show them examples so you want to show them positive reviews that you've received from past customers who have used your product and they love it and they share about it you want to make sure that you're showing these positive reviews on your website on your social media you can even create testimonial videos that you can share as facebook ads for example so make sure that you're always demonstrating that your product is more effective it's better than your competitors so that you don't give your competitors a chance to win over your any potential customers now the third thing that you can do to get customers to buy your product is product demonstrations. So think about places online where you can show up and demonstrate your product so that your potential customers get to see firsthand how it works, the features, the quality of your product. So I would think of places like live stream shows, right? I would join live stream shows and demonstrate my products. I would do partnerships again, you know, back to the partnerships. Is there an online membership community that you can join or you can approach to demonstrate your product? Is there a Facebook group out there that would be 
be perfect for you to do a live product demonstration. So think about online spaces where you can show up live and create product demonstrations. Now the fourth thing you can do to get customers to buy your product is to offer a free trial. Now a lot of SaaS companies do that, software companies do that, right? They offer a free trial for seven days, 30 days to give the customers a little taste of what their product is like. So it's kind of like going to the supermarket and you get to taste the different products in bite size so that you get to see if you like it or not. So same thing, you wanna think about how can you give a free trial of your product. Now, if you sell products like accessories or clothing, it's a little more difficult to give a free trial. So maybe what we can do is to give them free shipping return, basically the guarantee, right? The whole idea of giving a free trial or a free shipping or free returns or free money back guarantee is you wanna give them this idea that there is no risk at all, right? You're not risking anything at all by trying out your product or by buying your product. And this is why SaaS companies give away 30 days free trial. And if you sell products like accessories and clothing, things that you can't necessarily give a free trial to you can look at things like money back guarantee free returns for example and then the last thing you can do to get customers to buy your products is to think about bonuses when someone buys your products are the bonuses that you can offer them that your competitors are not offering at all so if your product is a microphone for example what are some bonuses can you give them could it be a different shield cover right instead of a black cover could it be green or pink or yellow right so that would be a little extra bonus that I'm sure your competitors are not offering you know could it be a, a bonus PDF? Could it be a bonus video training, right? So think about the little bonuses that you can offer your customers if they buy your product, right? Think beyond just selling that product itself. And then here's the question, what happens if they don't buy your product? What if you've tried all five things and they don't buy your product? So what you can do now is to put them through an auto email nurturing sequence where now you send them emails on a regular basis and you start to nurture them. So even if they don't buy now, they might buy down the road, right? Maybe they need more time to warm up to the idea of buying a product. So don't just dismiss them as a customer if they don't buy from the first touch point, if they don't buy after clicking your ad, if they don't buy after downloading whatever freebie that you have. Always make sure to put the people who didn't buy or add to cart and didn't eventually buy to put them through a nurturing sequence in your email system and make sure they continue to nurture them so that at least you get a percentage of them to eventually buy your product. So I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below, what are you doing to get customers to buy your products right now? Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you've not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. All right, guys, in the meantime, as you wait for my next video, go check out this video to learn more about online business and online marketing. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.